Pika Pika. Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of my Pokemon Crystal Let's Play, I'm Saki. Guys, the last, was, like, the last two episodes were a real mess, and I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. Um, I don't know what's happening, I really don't know what's happening. Well, to be honest, I kind of know. Like, the thing is that I'm trying to make things better, you know, I actually added a screen there. You don't see that, but still, there's a screen, believe me. So, um, that really helps me, because, well, for that, thanks to that, I can I can actually check if I'm recording or not, and if anything, everything is working as it should. But, well, because of that, sometimes some things don't work the way that they did. <laughs> So yeah, and I also forget to check, so because of that, yeah, we kind of had uh, at first an episode that simply didn't work, I mean, like the, the audio wasn't working, and then we got another one where at some point <laughs> the freaking camera just turned off and that's it. Then you just have a um, um, white square in the, not really the middle, but still in the, your face basically. Anyway. Let's go back on track. We're in Mahogany Town and well, we're talking uh, to the citizens because we need to know what's happening here. So, I heard that a red Gyarados appeared at the lake. That's odd, since even ordinary Gyarados are rare in the lake. I see. My favorite radio program, I'd say Pokemon Music. Uh, well, that's. That's not too hard. I mean, yeah. Anyway, so. Also, there's a gym here, but it's blocked. Since you came this far, take time to do some sun sightseeing. You should head north and check out Lake of Rage right now. Okay, I got that. <laughs> I guess I would I would do something else for now. Okay, let's check this place. While visiting Mountain Town, try a Rage Candy Bar. Rage Candy Bar, what do you mean? Hehehe, <laughs> the experiment worked like a charm. Magic card? are just worthless, but Gyarados are big money makers. Okay, you can probably guess that by the soundtrack, but well, this place is kind of uh, dirty. So, well, what do you... What in the world? Why do we have a slow cocktail? And why can't you buy it even? You could actually buy it. Well, let's do that, why not? Yeah. And that's it. Okay, but that's odd. We have a... <laughs> we have a slow cocktail. What do you even do with that? It says that you can sell it for a very high high price, but I kind of doubt that. I think it's kind of illegal, yeah, also. Very tasty, so I... Yeah, you, you can't do anything about that. You can't actually do anything about that. Well. And that's how you waste money, guys. Yeah. That's how, that's how you do it. Okay, now I'm gonna get down. Is it working? Okay. <laughs> I need to check, guys. Really. Okay, so it seems like that some things are happening here at the um, Lake of Rage, uh, Rage Lake, uh, something uh, along those lines. Let's see what they say. I can't do so much with my Pokemon, it's super fun. I see. I don't know what you mean, but well. Okay, Sanshu, perfect. We have we should have best route in us first, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Okay, let's go with Vine Whip. There we go. Okay, Zubat. I think we can just use cat. Confuse ray, damn it. I mean, it makes sense that uh, Zubat's uh, supersonic uh, evolves into cats. Uh, uh, sorry, what am I saying? Evolves uh, into confuse rays. At some point. Please plenty, please. This 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 has been very very hard as well. At least the eater moves okay, we're not we're confused no more. I don't know why but it sounds very very funny to me. It's confused no more. Okay, 
is senseless. Now, I know this could, this is, this is probably a very very bad idea, but we're going to try. Let's go by whip. If it hits us and we're, if we're lucky, but we aren't, we <laughs> just went for sand attack, so yeah, we're fine. Anyway, I, I'm kind of wondering if we've, uh, yeah, we aren't playing the, the game in the correct order. I mean, uh, we're playing, we're fighting against the level 17 sand slash and uh, Stelix was level 35 <laughs> back in Olivine City, so yeah, maybe... Uh, uh, maybe it wasn't the right thing. Sorry, the right, the right order. Damn it, acid would, would be amazing, but we have two HMs there. That's so unlucky. I'm really going to make him forget sleep powder. That's like the only reason why this guy is any good. <laughs> mm. But we need more attacking power. We really do. We really need that. Damn it, it would have been perfect. We just had to remove cat, basically. Oh yeah, it's the same thing. Poor guy. We used him for the HM moves and now he's stuck with only Vine Whip and Sleep Powder. I'm sorry. Yeah, let's do this. What am I even doing? No, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. You know, we could just keep... Uh, Bear sprout for later on, if you know what I mean. Like uh, you just you just keep him there, you just keep him there. Just wait for the moment where you can finally uh, make him forget those moves, and then you actually go and make uh, um, how's it called a move set that isn't good. Not like that. Oh, damn it! Why do I always forget about that? <laughs> So yeah, basically if you go to Route 33 through that way, you actually get uh, those guys that, well, basically rob you a thousand. Uh, they actually rob you a thousand, boy. They're actually, they're very evil. They're very, very evil. So, uh, well, if you want to avoid that, uh, not in the way that I did, I'm going to show you, you can just do that. So let's go for a repo. Exactly. As you can see, if we go south, well, first of all, there's a trainer there, actually two trainers, so yeah. Uh, yeah, we need to fight against him. So yeah, basically you can just, um, you can skip though, you can skip that and just go the other way around uh, through the grass. But you know, maybe it's just because, maybe it's just because I'm talking too much, yeah. I, 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 that must be the reason. Okay, plenty, let's go with acid. That would have been super effective if we were, if we were into 12, 2021, which we are actually. But well, you know what I mean, yeah, right? A Clefairy is a natural theory now <laughs> and doesn't like poison type moves. Seeing which didn't need again, it's very nice. I, I know, it was a very bad idea because Sleep Powder is just amazing, it's just an amazing move, but still. Can you see how much easier it is to train him? With actual moves. <laughs> that's a trainer, isn't it? Oh no, I think this guy. Oh wait, we have already fought against you, that's why. Okay, let's continue. So, yeah, basically, as you can see, you can just go this way, avoid the whole. The, um, avoid the beating, and just fight some to, with some trainers, which is actually, you know, important. Chaos. <laughs> oh, Tang. Well, uh, I have to tell you, Plenty, I actually don't think that you can beat him. I mean, you can, but if he starts attacking, you might actually faint, because I don't think we do... Yeah, we totally lack damage against him. And he deals a fair amount of damage also. Well, we're going to try, though. If we get lucky and we get... Uh, no, we don't. <laughs> we need a defense drop. Why? Why? <laughs> Come on, I... did he do 13 damage before as well? Really? I don't know. Ah, boy. What's happening? I, I really don't know what's happening anymore. I have to tell you though, I know the reason why I'm losing <laughs> against you some trainers and some scenarios. 
I'm just too too used to these modern days where you know leveling up your Pokemon is uh, 10 times easier and for the most part it's because you can actually have uh, very very good moves uh, from the get-go I mean you know as you can see you want to train on Bellsprout you are actually stuck with Vine Whip uh, until I think like level 40 or something while uh, you can actually while you can have better moves uh, much earlier much earlier in um, in the latest games so yeah of course it makes things easier for you well anyway I'm the king let's use strength that's a lucky deal we really needed to give some uh, um, to give uh, to our uh, our weapon bell some time to shine plenty actually <laughs> to plenty right okay we're so close don't do that to me don't do this to me again okay so we beat this guy as well okay doesn't look like there's anyone here but we need to fight against this guy now I love Pokemon, that's why I started, and why I'll keep on collecting Pokemon, I see. Okay, and everything is fine, I'm recording it. We've gotten to... oh, 12 minutes already. Well, probably it's a little less though. I made some mistakes along the way, and I'm not going to tell you <laughs> which, but still, some things happened. Yes, no, bro. Uh, let's go with Rock Slide, actually. That's our um, hardest TV move right now. I mean, on Danny, at least. Water gun, which is probably going to deal a lot if you're. That's even more. Okay, that was a crit though. <laughs> okay. Okay, rock slide again. That should be enough though. So, we're fine, we're fine. And there we go. Okay. And I'm very sorry. You're the one who fought me. I kind of interacted with you, but still. Okay, Lake of Rage, and here we are. Fishing Guru's house. Let's see what he says. Lake of Rage is actually a crater made by rampaging Gyarados. The crater filled up, filled up with rain, rainwater, and the lake was formed. That's the story passed on from my grandpa's great great grandpa. Let's see. It used to be that you could catch lively magic up there, but I don't understand what's happening. Did my ass deceive me? I saw red Gyarados in the lake, but the four Gyarados were usually blue. That's actually very cool, I'll tell you that. I heard this lake was made by Rampaging Gyarados. Oh, that's... Oh. Well, anyway. <laughs> already knew that. So... Let's see what this old guy says. The Gyarados are hungry. It's a bad omen. <laughs> I see. So I think you can see I'm not there. You know. Well, it's not really chilling, but still. No, no moves. Sorry. We need to switch him up, up front. There we go. And. Let's go. Yasha! Okay, let's go. Now we're going to catch him. I don't think we're going to train him, but we're going to catch him because I just want to catch him. Well, Gyarados appeared. A shiny red Gyarados. It looks very cool though. Okay, so let's go with Hyper Fang. We should deal a lot of damage to him. Yep. Oh, that was, that was even a crit. And even flinched. Okay, that's perfect. That's the best art we could get. And we have a okay, we have a single Ultra Ball, and I don't think Pokeballs will be enough. Let's see if we're lucky. One. Yeah, we aren't. We totally aren't. Damn it. You know what would have been amazing right now? Sleep powder. Yeah, that would have been amazing. Okay, it's Pokeball. It's very unlikely. That was so close. 
trash. He has a lot of a lot of damage as well. Okay, we're going to try actually only one more time, yeah. I don't want to lose Carry Boy. Not, not that it's now important to um, keep him alive, but still. And also I believe that even, even if you beat him here, you know, even if you make him faint, you can find him later. I'm pretty sure of it, so yeah. In any case, it wouldn't it would make sense if you just beat him here. And we obtained a red scale with that. Okay. Gary does are angry. Oh, okay, again. <laughs> This lake is full of Gyarados, but nothing else. But this guy kind of stands out, doesn't it? And the Magikarp are being forced to evolve. Did you come here because of the rumors? You're Zaki, I'm Lance, a trainer like you. I heard some rumors, so I came to investigate. I saw the way you battled earlier, Zaki. I can tell that you're a trainer with considerable skill. Thank you. You don't mind, could you help me investigate? Of course. Being forced to evolve. Mysterious radio broadcast. I see. And well, it kind of teleported. <laughs> he has the ability to do so. Now, um, I'm doing it for science, I'm doing it for you guys. I'm going to check what happens if you go this way again. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I thought they weren't there anymore. Come on, and there we go. You know, 2000 gold, just like that. I know how to use my money. <laughs> Perfect, okay. Okay, so we beat the red Gyarados. And well, we need to help Lance investigate. But. We're actually going to do that in the next episode, because yeah, I think we've played enough. Yeah, 18 minutes, he says there. It's probably a little less, but still, yeah, I think it's, I think it's enough. Okay. Well, guys, thank you for watching, and we'll see each other in the next, in the next episode. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, bye-bye.